So right now we're going to drop off this PC that was featured in the intro of this video. Normally I would do an entire PC build and then show the B-roll at the end, but uh, I'll explain what happened with Jesus. that in a minute. Um, we're bringing this to my friend Min. He also brought a very rare video card back that I'm going to pick up that I think you guys will enjoy. All right, so one of, I'm one of those people who always puts the seatbelt around the PC, but uh, I can't really fit this up front without doing some crazy stuff that's gonna hurt my back. So it's just gonna have to go like this. I don't think it's gonna slide around. I'll drive very slow. And we'll close this patch. So essentially what happened was I went to check my SD card after pretty much doing the entire build. And typically in my camera, I have an A7 IV. I could run two SD cards to have a backup and I didn't do that. So I ended up with some corrupt footage, which uh, is why I don't have a video of the entire build, assembly, etc. And um, so instead of throwing away the entire video, I figured it would be better to just, you know, do a little vlog style video dropping the PC off. Um, I'm pretty happy he's back. He's one of my good friends. I see him all the time. And uh, he also picks up like crazy PC deals all the time. Like half the content on this channel is parts that he gets. So. Um, I'm excited to deliver his PC. This. <laughs> oh my God. All right, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to open this up at home. Yeah, it's like ten pounds. Wow. All right, guys. So my friend just got back from Vietnam. He's like super, super jet lagged. We were gonna set up the whole PC and stuff, but I didn't feel like getting him on camera and just like bothering him with that stuff. So he got the PC, but he did give me something that probably no one here in the United States has ever seen. Um, it's right here. I just showed it a second ago. I think we're gonna unbox this and check this card out. This is like probably one of the most unique graphics cards ever made. There was like 300 of them made. So uh, pretty cool rare item. So yeah, let's uh, let's drive back to the house and check it out. So I wanted to show you guys this real quick before I head back home. Um, last night we had a hurricane or a mild nor'easter or something. And I was wondering if all these things were still standing. This house is just absolutely insane. The guy has so many decorations up. Um, it's pretty cool though, I guess, if you're into Christmas. Clearly they are very, very into Christmas. All right, we're back. And uh, one thing I want to talk about is I've always had a kind of weird obsession with these like Hall of Fame, um, just cards you cannot get here in the United States, simply because of that. You just cannot find them here. They're rare. You know, occasionally someone will like import one or something like that. So I'm always looking for them. And the last time my friend Min went to Vietnam, he brought back this 980 Ti, which I was a huge fan of because of that Grand Theft Auto text on the side. Um, it had RGB, it has this like overclock button on the back, and uh, he just brought back this extremely rare card. This is like one of the absolute rarest Hall of Fame cards they ever produced. Uh, I believe that there was 300 of them made. They were like something like 2100 US dollars when they first came out, so talk about diminishing values. But yeah, let's check this thing out. I've never unboxed one of these. Um, I've never even seen this box. This box has to weigh like 10 pounds at least. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take it out right here on camera. I'm not even gonna do some fancy unboxing. This is obviously used. This is a uh, card from Vietnam. He just returned after a month. Also, thanks Min for the uh, snow globe. It's pretty cool. So we got a box in a box and this is the fancy Hall of Fame box. Um, so according to the outside of this packaging, this actually has a water block built in just like the Asus Poseidon card. So I don't know if who copied who, but the 2080 Ti from Asus that, that year that came out also had a water block and here we go. This is quite a package. And uh, the block is actually made by EK, I believe. I don't know, maybe they're just EK uh, covers. 
yeah, so here it is. And there's a water block built in as three eight pins, which this was actually kind of unusual for back then, the three eight pins. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. And so this G lights up. We're actually going to plug it in and make sure it works. Um, yeah, let's see what else comes in this box. So I know that there's an LCD. Yeah, this is the LCD that attaches that does all your like readings. And we get some kind of a little looks like a GPU stand, like a uh, anti sag bracket. Yeah, anti sag bracket. And I think that that's it. So one thing that this had was actually this kit came with its own RAM, which I guess the owner uh, kept the RAM, which kind of that's a shame. It would have been nice to actually get the RAM. Um, maybe Min has it. I'll have to ask him. Yeah, so that's that's all that's in the box. So yeah, let's plug this thing into my old test bench. Um, I'm not going to benchmark it today. So if you guys want to see a video on that, leave a comment down below. I'll do a benchmark. I'll set this up in my own system. And we'll do a like 2080 Ti in 2023 video if you guys are interested in that. And uh, yeah, so let's pop this on the old test bench and see how it looks when it turns on. All right, out comes the old ARC card. And in goes the older 2080 Ti. Man, this is gonna look silly in here. All right, so I really hope this works because he bought this on a whim. Uh, this is the first time. Well, that's not a good start. Seems like the picture came back. That's a good thing. I don't know why the fans are running at like 100% fan speed right now. That's a little bit weird. Um, I'm gonna try to re restart this and see what it does. All right, I hooked up the little screen. Hopefully it doesn't go crazy and artifact like it did a second ago. Oop. All right, that looks a little bit better. All right, nice. So I got a feeling um, I definitely get to redo the thermal paste. You guys probably can't hear it. I have the microphone backwards, but. But it seems like the driver is fine. Um, I did do DDU and uninstall the driver for that, but it just had some kind of weird fluke. Hopefully there's no more issues with it when I go to test it. I just recorded this a minute ago, so I, I, pu I plugged it in, I did DDU, and watch, hold on. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, I was being a bit of a troll here and uh, explained to him the situation after. He did actually tell me that he tested it when he was over in Vietnam, so um, that's good on him, smart move. I'm gonna leave Heaven running for a few hours just to make sure it's completely stable. Um, I'm still going to take apart the block in a video and clean out the blue fluid that the guy was using and also just clean up the card in general and then do some benchmarks in my own personal rig. Got really nervous there that I was going to have to call him and tell him that his card was bad. Um, so apparently there's a button on that that you can switch for the fan speed. There's a full load button. I'm going to have to figure that out at a later time. Um, it's getting kind of late for me over here. And uh, yeah, so if you guys want to see a video benchmarking that card, leave a comment, drop a like, sub to the channel. Any of that stuff is cool. And uh, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.